say hello to everyone over at the Hall Funeral Home. Johnny Hall, of course, of Martin. Big uh, fan and a big supporter of Floyd County basketball. My thanks to Hall Funeral Home for all their support throughout the years that I've been involved with high school basketball. I'd like to also thank the Alec Companies, Racks of Pikeville, the Bank Josephine, Sandy Valley Monument Company, Pizza Den, and the County Schools Incorporated of Pikeville. Hey, uh, Joe Bag just stopped by and said hello to us, and uh, we had to okay. mention Joe's name on the air, give him a little air time there. <laughs> Joe's a very fine fella, and one of the employees at Hall's Joe. Funeral Home, and Joe's a very nice yeah. young man. And now we're about ready to listen to Herschel Kahn as he introduces tonight's starting lineup. And here is Chris Sloan, number three, for Gordon Paradise Prestonsburg Black Cats. Number 12, his runner made at guard will be Ray Collins. And at forward, number 21, will be Big Stuart Robinson. Stuart also a very fine baseball player. Joe Burchett, number 33, will be at forward. And the center will be number 33, Jeff Sloan. Prestonsburg with a record of 2-0 and under head coach Gordon Perido. Coach Gordon started his coaching uh, debut in the mountains here. He was assistant at Mullins High School under Steve Butcher for a good number of years. And then he became the head coach there. Sam Stewart being introduced now by the Bobcats. And Philip King, the very fine junior, coming on. Adam Kierhart, the leading scorer for the Bobcats through the first two games. Larry Hall will be starting at one guard, and the point guard will be number 12, Keith Hall. We're just moments away from the opening tip-off as Prestonsburg has already broke the huddle, and they are going to hit out on the floor. And now the Bobcats are going to huddle around Coach News, uh, Junior Newsom, get a final word there. And then they're going to get ready. We're ready to play basketball. Prestonsburg record 2-0. The Bobcats 1-1. One one. So we're getting ready for a night of exciting high school basketball. One thing you might uh, mention, uh, Betsy Lane, B.J., has 1-1, one one, but they played two of the top teams so far in the region. Got to win them all, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the way, that's the way all these coaches feel. Got to win them all. Sam Stewart will go up against Jeff Sloan of Prestonsburg, and we're just about ready to go with the opening tip-off. We're live from the DW Hard Field House. Here's an exciting high school basketball. B.J. Newsom and Troy Cole courtside. The tap, Stewart taps it up and comes down. It's Keith Hall, Betsy Lane with the basketball. Keith Hall wants to work right-hand side, looks for help, looks for Larry Hall. Hall wants to give it back outside to Adam Gearhart, looking inside. As Betsy Lane begins to move the ball around, it comes back out. Larry wants to keep it topside. Over to Adam Gearhart. Nice lob inside to Philip King. Puts it up and in. So give Adam Gearhart the assist. Philip King the bucket. Betsy Lane draws first blood. They go up 2 0. Sloan with the basketball between the leg dribble. Picked up by Larry Hall. He's going to give out to Joe Burchett. They want to work around the horn. They give to Sloan. Sloan works against Hall. Drives. Puts it up off the run. Got it to go. Boy, this Sloan's got a little one. twist on that when it rolled around. Went right in. We're all tied at two. Betsy Lane owns the basketball. Keith Hall with the basketball. One hand bounce pass to Larry Hall. All right, wants to work. Ties it and stolen away. Chris Sloan got a hand in there, knocked it away. And Stuart Robinson gives it back to Sloan, takes it up too hard. Adam Gearhart will be, or uh, Philip King, I believe, will be whistle for the block. Paul May has got Philip King, and he has hit Philip King with his first foul, the team's first. Going in now. Chris, Chris Sloan was the starter for Prestonburg last year. He's the only starter they got back out there. He will shoot two free throws. 7.05 to go. We're just underway. We're live at the DW High Field House. This one's a little hard, won't go as Larry Hall just changes lanes right in front of him after he shoots the basketball. Prestonburg going to put two men, Stuart Robinson, along with Ray Collins, back across the timeline. This one is on the way. It's good. Prestonburg takes the lead 3 2. Long pass. Adam Gearhart with a basketball gets up to Keith Hall. Hall looking, still looking. Bounce pass to Gearhart. He wants to put it down. As Betsy Lane whips the basketball around. Nice bounce pass into Sam Stewart. Stewart still looking. Got to get it back outside to Keith Hall. He wants to work top of the key. Larry Hall looks around the right hand side. 
Nay, dribbling still. Nice bounce pass to Keith Hall. Puts up the short one. Can't get it to go, and he's fouled. I believe the foul might go against number 12. If it is, it's on Ray Collins of Prestonsburg. Oh, it's on Sloan. No, they caught it on 33. Joe Burchett, wasn't it? Oh, they, I thought it was 23. Maybe so it was. Be his first, the team's first, as Keith Hall will go the line. Number 12, Keith Hall. Keith Hall will be on the line for Keith. He'll shoot two free throws. The first one is on the way, and he can't get it to go. So maybe Keith can come back and tie this ball game. Both uh, teams. I'm good. Pay for it. And the next one is on the way. It won't go. So Keith Hall misses both of them. Sloan has the rebound. Chris Sloan on the move, the very fine little point guard of the Black Cats. They give it back outside to Burchett. Wants to come around the horn. He does. And Stuart Robinson looks for help. Gives it back to Burchett. Sloan puts it up. Can't get it to go. Philip King has the rebound. The Bobcats on the basketball. Prestonburg owns the lead, three to two. We played almost two minutes of basketball in the first quarter. Larry Hall back outside. As Betsy Lane begins to move the ball quickly, Gerhardt with the basketball gives it back outside. Keith Hall looks inside, nothing going. Adam Gerhardt for a three, switch move. No, it's three. They, they call it two. But we're going to wait here. So are they only going to give him two? It looked like three to me. Oh, it definitely was three. They only going to give him two, so it's a four to three ball game. As Adam Gerhardt switches away his first shot, Bobcats are on top four three. Oh, Sloan makes a nice move on the baseline. Beautiful bounce pass. He just lays it in to Jeff Sloan, who just puts it up and in. Get his sister Chris Sloan. The points down to Jeff Sloan. Oh, they give it to Stewart. Stewart tries to work, can't. Gives it over to Philip King. He puts it up and in. So nice pass Good by assist Sam Stewart. Stewart. Bobcats quickly back on top, 6-5. We're gonna have some quick action tonight. Ray Collins with the basketball. Gives it up to Stuart Robinson. They wanna to go to Chris Sloan. Sloan gets it outside. Burchett puts it up, can't get it to go. And the Bobcats come out of there with it. Adam Gearhart along to Sam Stewart. Nice move. Lays it off the glass. Can't get it to go. Hits the pavement. No call. Prestonsburg on the move. Collins wants to work left-hand side. Kicks it back outside. Burchett. Oh, they get it inside to Sloan. Turns around. Can't get it to go. And Philip King has the rebound. That's his third rebound already in the first quarter. Four minutes, 50 seconds to go. Betsy Lane is on top, 6-5. Pass underneath to Philip King. Looking for help. Gets it back outside to Gearhart. Lobs for Stewart. Stewart on the turnaround. Puts it up. Got it. Sam Stewart gets, on, gets his first bucket of the ball game. Betsy Lane quickly opens up by three. A little over four and a half to go. First quarter of play. On the move. Sloan. Stop. Puts it up. Can't get it to go. Philip King with his fourth rebound. Quickly outlet to Larry Hall. Hall with a nice lob to Stewart. A little bit too high. He couldn't control it. He had the right idea. Just a little bit too high. Nice. It looked like just a little bit high. Ray Collins with a basketball. He's got to give it up to Chris Sloan. Sloan fakes the three-pointer. Won't shoot it. Give it to Ray Collins. He looks for help. Stuart Robinson will let it go. Be outside. Write it down. Boy, Stuart Robinson, nice little touch on that one. Both teams playing a tough, tough man-to-man -to -man defense here starting out, B.J. Just under four minutes to go, first quarter of play. Betsy Lane's on top, 8-7. Larry Hall holds the ball high above his head, picked up by Stuart Robinson. Out of ball quickly. movement. Gives it over to Gerhardt, puts it up and in. Can't get it to go, scrap for the rebound. And it will belong to Betsy Lane. We got our first substitute, Troy Cohen. It's Tim Martin, number 15, into the lineup. He is going to come in for Jeff Sloan. Pardo's known for playing a lot of boys. So Martin is into the lineup for Prestonsburg. Larry Hall lobs, nice pass into Sam Stewart. Right there's Philip King, puts it up and in. Philip King with six points already in the first quarter. The Bobcats are up 10-7. Three and a half minutes to go, first quarter of play. It's been a fast pace first quarter, so they move the ball quickly up and down the floor. Sloan is it into Burchett. He wants to work down on the baseline, this time to Martin. Martin picked up by Philip King. He's got to have some help. Ray Collins picked up now by Keith Hall. Collins puts the move on. Sloan, Sloan wants to work the baseline, puts it up, can't get it to go. No one from Betsy Lane really moved after the rebound, but Larry Hall happened to be there. There's a long pass to Keith Hall. Kicks it back outside to Gearhart. Nothing going. Lob for Sam Stewart. Sam was a smaller man. He, he tries to go inside. Philip King got it, put it up and in. Philip King has oh, eight points in the first for quarter. Stewart that time. Philip King off to a blistering fast first quarter of play. 
Ray Collins with the basketball. Betsy Lane opens up 12-7. That's the biggest lead of the ball game. It's early. Robinson off the baseline, kicks it back outside. Ray Collins. Collins wants to move. Can is stolen away this time by Philip King. Philip King is on the move, lays it up and in. Philip King has 10 points already in the first quarter. It is 14 to 7. Bobcats have a double the Black Cats in scoring. Two minutes, 25 seconds to go, first quarter of play. Ray Collins with a basketball, gives it up to Chris Sloan. Sloan wants to work against Larry Hall, puts it up. It's a short. It's somebody Sloan. King with another rebound. And for Philip King, it's been all Mr. King. First quarter, Sam Stewart ahead, reverse, lays it up and in. So the big man for Betsy Lane has 14 Tyler knows, points. Tyler is about time to take a big time out here because he's digging himself a hole. Oh, rolling the basketball. Still looking for help. Another Stolen one. away that time. Gerhardt passed her up, gives the ball away. They give it back to Gerhardt. Wants to shoot, don't. Gives it over to Keith Hall. Sam Stewart just now coming down the floor. They give it over to Larry Hall. He lobs inside to Sam Stewart. Stewart on the turnaround. Can't get it to go. Scrap for the rebound, and coming out of there that time was Joe Burchett of Prestonsburg. Ray Collins on the move, picked up by Keith Hall. He gives it over to Martin. Well, I'll tell you what, Chris Sloan with the basketball. Stuart Robinson, Prestonsburg three-pointer by number 12, Ray Collins that time. It's a three-pointer. That's our first three-pointer of the ball game. It's 16-10. Down to a minute, 14 to go. First quarter of play, Larry Hall holds the ball. Lobs in for Philip King. Now tries to pass to Sam Stewart. Stepped out of bounds by Prestonsburg. Prestonsburg is going to send two more substitutes in. John Clark is going to come in for Prestonsburg, along with Kevin Adams, number 55. Also, number 23, Jeff Sloan, going to come back in the lineup. <coughs> Larry Hall to inbound for the Bobcats. They give it over to Adam Gearhart, wants to shoot, don't. Drives around, tries to bounce pass, has it stolen away. Junior Newsom quickly off the bench, clapping his hands. He likes what he sees so far. Oh, it's a pass underneath, and the big boy, number 55, Kevin Adams, brings it home. And it is 16 to 12, 51 seconds to go. Gearhart with a basketball, between the leg dribble, gives it up to Larry Hall. Larry Hall spins, still wants to work, almost has it stolen away, but Keith Hall's there to pick it up. Larry Hall puts it up. Too hard, won't go. Rebound, Chris Sloan. Quickly, Chris Sloan is up to John Wimpy Clark. Here comes John Clark. His dad used to be the football coach at Betsy Lane. They give it up to Sloan, puts it up. He can't get it to go at all. Sam Stewart has the rebound for the Bobcats. Boy, Junior Newsom does not like Chris Sloan penetrating that close. Adam Gerhardt for a three. Too long, won't go. John Clark on, or uh, Martin on the rebound. Now he wants to give it up to John Clark. We're down to 14 seconds. Russellsburg will work for the last shot. We're down to 10 seconds. Clark on the move against Keith Hall. Takes him all the way. Goes right around him. Still driving. Nice pass over. A little jump shot up and in that time by Jeff Sloan. And it is a 16-14. As time runs out in the first quarter of play, the fans begin to get in the ball game. As you see the scoreboard, the Bobcats 16, the Bobcats 14. We'll be back in one minute. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Back in action as Prestonsburg has just inbound. John Wimpy Clark with a basketball. Gives it up to Sloan. Sloan looking for help. Oh, Adams makes a nice move, and the big boy just takes it and puts it home. And Kevin Adams has just has four points to Cole since he's been in the ball game. He's only been in about a minute. As Gerhardt goes all the way, tries to reverse, misses everything. And the ball is still tipped around. 
And the big boy, Kevin Adams, comes up with a basketball. Chris Newsom is into the lineup for Betsy Lane as Sam Stewart comes up for the steal. Keith Hall is out for Betsy Lane. Chris Newsom on the move, gives it up to Larry Hall. Hall makes a nice move, gets into the pain. He's knocked to the floor, no call. Sam Stewart underneath to Philip King, puts it up and in. Boy, Philip King has 12 points in the ball game, but I'll tell you, six of those points you got to give Troy Cole to Sam yeah. Stewart on the assist has really let him have it in close. Nice passing in there. Sloan drives wide open. Can't get it to go. Sloan is beginning to press a little bit. The big boy puts it home. No, we have a blocking foul. And who's that on the floor? Larry Hall. And that is Larry Hall. That will be Larry Hall's first, the team's second. Troy, we've played all this time. We've only had a total of three team fouls so far. And it's a lot of fast plays playing, too. It's up and down the floor. It's a good ball game. Kevin Adams will be on the line. He'll be at the charity stripe for two. Betsy Lane is on top, 18-16 with 6.58 to go before the half. That first quarter was over before we had time to get warmed up. <laughs> this one is up a little too hard. Won't go, hits the back of the arm. Don't forget, coming up halftime, Coach Johnny Ray Turner and myself will be here. So don't go away. I'll have an interview with the McDowell coach. He's sort of in a rebuilding year this year. This one is too hard, won't go, and Philip King with another rebound. He quickly gives out to Larry Hall. Bobcats on the move. He is picked up by Martin as Hall, Larry Hall goes around him. Stop, banks it up, can't get it to go. Philip King goes after the rebound. Scrambles for it, still got it. He travels well, with I'll the basketball, you, but you can't fall Philip King with that one. Yeah, that's two shots that Larry Hall shot out there and got hammered bad on both of them. 6.44 to go before the half. Troy, right at the end of the first quarter, that's the only time I've seen the fans from either side really get into the ball game. Yeah. Uh, this is a ball game. It's a good one, 18-16, six, a little over six and a half to go. Russensburg with the basketball. Sloan wants to work top of the key, makes a nice move, nice pass underneath as the ball is stolen away by Adam Gerhardt as Larry Hall had a hand on it. Quick pass to Sam Stewart, lays it up. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice pass from Adam Gerhardt, give him the assist. Sam Stewart has laid it in on a dead run. Here's a long shot from outside, won't go. And on the rebound, once again, putting it up. He can't get it to go that time was Adams. It's out of bounds. It belongs to Betsy Lane. Westenberg fans upset with that call. Well, Coach Junior Newsom off the bench now for Betsy Lane. Well, we've had a lot of contact underneath as Kevin Adams that time couldn't get it to go. 20 to 16, six minutes to go. Second quarter play for the Bobcats. Larry Hall on the move for the Bobcats. Larry Hall, looking, looking, still looking. Is it out to Chris Newsom? He's got Adam Gerhardt, tries to lob inside for Philip King, puts it up. We have a blocking foul. Paul May calls a blocking foul. Yeah, he's got to give him room that to come down, goes, LJ. That's what it was. That one goes against Kevin Adams. That's his first, the team second. So Betsy Lane should inbound underneath. Only two team fouls so far. As you see the score on your screen right now, 2016. A lot of the fans from Prestonburg didn't like that call, but he was up under him. You gotta give a man room to come down at the floor. Philip King gives it out to Chris Newsom to Larry Hall. He wants to work off the baseline. Adam Gearhart for a three, right it. down. Adam Gearhart now with five points in the ball game as Betsy Lane now opens up a 23-16 lead, seven point lead. One of the biggest leads of the ball game for him. Chris Sloan could not get it to go, and on the turnaround rebound, putting it back in was Joe Burchett. It's Betsy Lane giving Prestonsburg two and three shots. Junior Newsom not happy with that at all. Chris Newsom with the basketball. Adam Gearhart lobs inside for Sam Stewart. Right there, lays it up and in. Sam Stewart has eight points in the ball game for Betsy Lane. Betsy Lane back on top, 25 to 18. There's a nice move that time, and the shot just would not go that time for Burchett, long pass to Gearhart, lobs it up for Chris Newsom, he's out of bounds. Adam made the throw a little bit too far. Into the ball game for Betsy Lane, number 22, Chad Mitchell. He'll replace Adam Gearhart for the Bobcats. So Chad Mitchell now seeing his first action for the Bobcats, four minutes, 50 seconds to go. Before the half, Chris Newsom's gonna pick up John Clark out top of the key. Chad Mitchell goes for the steal, doesn't get it. There's a fake, and I believe they're going to say Philip King, I believe, has picked up well, his Chad second went, foul. Chad went for the steal that time, and it cost him, though, B.J. Uh, uh, if he'd have got the steal, it'd been All great. Right. But as it was, uh, his man had to be covered, and, and uh, Philip King 
picked up the foul there. Bernie Epley now going to check in for the Bobcats, and Philip King is going to sit down with four minutes and 43 seconds. Gets a nice hand from his coach, Junior Newsom. Philip has been all over the court in the first half. He has 12 points in the first half and a ton of rebounds. Russell's with the ball. Just over Three four point. and a half to go. Three-point shot that time would not go by Sloan. Chad Mitchell comes out there with a rebound. Larry Hall quickly gets it up to Chris Newsom. He wants to lob to Bernie Epplin right back to Chris Newsom. Betsy Lane now working the ball around. Get it inside the big boy Sam Stewart on the turnaround. And they say he is hammered, and I believe it might be on Martin, Tim Martin. We'll have to see what Paul May's call is going to be. And that's who it's on. Martin, that will be his first, the team's third. Betsy Lane's got good movement on the ball. Everybody's moving, too, without the ball. Well, we're sitting right here on press row. We have four of the radio stations besides the TV station here. And it's good to see all the stations out supporting our county high school basketball throughout the 15th region. 419 to go in the second quarter of play. 25-18, the Bobcats lead. They own the basketball. They own the score on the board. You're watching exciting high school basketball live on PRG as the lob goes for Sam Stewart. Comes right back to Larry Hall. Quickly, Larry Hall in a good move. Puts it up and in. That's Larry's first basket. He really worked hard for that one. Chris Newsom will be a whistle for the foul. That will be his first, and quickly, Betsy Lane now has picked up 14 fouls. Prestonsburg will be, on, be in the bonus from here on out throughout the Coach first Newsom. half. Coach Newsom's getting on Chris right now for it. Uh, he let his man get by him, and then he fouled him from behind. And, and uh, of course, any time a boy does that, why coaches usually get after him. John Clark on the move. Gives it up to Chris Sloan. Back to John Clark. Sloan picked up by Larry Hall. Larry Hall doing a good job on Chris Sloan yeah. so far. The shot by Martin won't go. Chris Newsom has the rebound. It's Betsy Lane now begins to pull away, 27-18. Give it up to Larry Hall, wide open. Oh, he is hammered by Tim Martin. That will be Tim Martin's second, the team's fourth, and Larry Hall will go to the line for two. Number 21 for Prestonsburg, Stuart Robinson going to go back in the ball game along with Ray Collins, number 12. Tim Martin will come out of the lineup. And Chris Sloan is going to come out of the lineup for Prestonsburg along with Joe Burchett. So Larry Hall will be on the charity strap. He'll be his first chance from the free throw lane as he'll shoot a pair. This one is on the way. It is too hard. Won't go at the back of the iron. 344 to go in the half. Had a good first quarter, 16-14. And then Betsy Lane beginning to pull away a little bit in the second quarter of play. This one is up. Larry Hall cannot make a free throw. Can't get it to go. As Prestonsburg gets the save. Now nice save from Ray Collins to John Clark. Clark quickly, a quick pass up to Robinson. Goes up with it. Can't get it to go. On the rebound, the big boy puts it up. He can't get it to go. And that was Kevin Adams. We had a scrap for the basketball. And the foul's going to be Kevin Adams. And they say that's going to be his second. And the Prestonburg fans really disagree with that call. Well, the Prestonburg fans didn't like that call, B.J., because they oh, were both fighting good. for it. And I think uh, Bernie had a little bit closer position. The other boy come over his back. Referee called it. Fans got all upset because they was both going after the ball. On to the line for the Bobcats will be Bernie Epling. Bernie's a junior. He'll be on the line for the bonus for the Bobcats. The Bobcats 0 of 4 in the first half from the foul line. No, ain't no 3-5. The official says 3-5. I already had 5-5 marked down, Troy. So they had to go on 5-5, and that's going to be on uh, Kevin Adams. That'll be his second. Bernie Eplin will be on the line. He'll get the bonus. The junior forward for Betsy Lane. Three and a half minutes exactly left in the second quarter of play. The first one is on the way. It won't go. On the rebound is Chris Newsom. We have a holding. They say no basket. So Chris Newsom will go to the line for Betsy Lane. Choice, see if you can get who the foul is on. So it's at 23. Jeff Sloan. So Chris Newsom will be on the line for the bonus. Betsy Lane has missed five. Chris made the shot that time, but uh, what it was, the referee called it before right. he shot the ball. Betsy Lane has missed five free throws in a row. Boy, I six. tell you, they just absolutely can't get one to go down. Free throws. They missed six free throws in the first half, and Coach Junior Newsom is standing up with his arms folded. He is really upset about the ball club and where they're shooting free throws today. 
Stuart Robinson wants to look for Prestonsburg. Gives it back outside of Ray Collins to Clark. Clark goes up. Can't get it to go. And now let's see who Paul Mays Mitchell. got for let's the foul. Let's see if it's on. Yeah, it is. Mitchell. It is on Chad Mitchell. And both teams now over the bonus mark. So John Clark will be on the line for Prestonsburg. Let's see if they're going to say on the shot or before the shot. Three minutes, 12 seconds to go before the half. Here we go. It will be one of the bonus. Two shots. He can't get it to go. Boy, neither team can hit Boy, a free throw. Two shots. Boy, can you believe the whole half so far? We've only had one free throw made. <laughs> yeah. This will be the 12th free throw attempted by both teams combined. They've only hit one free throw between them. They still can't hit. A little push off that time, but he got away with it as Adams he gets a rebound. That's and three Collins lets it go. He's good. He got it. So Ray Collins has two three pointers. And it is a 27-21 ball game in favor of Betsy Lane as Chris Newsom works. Gives it up to Chad Mitchell. The outside, Chris Newsom lets it go for three. Won't go. Under the rebound is Stuart Robinson. He gives it to John Clark. He traveled with the basketball. Let's see if uh, Chad Mitchell got him first. Craig Hunter's going to come in the ball game for Betsy Lane. Chad Mitchell will sit, take a rest. He'll have to sit down now. He's picked up his second foul. And Craig Hunter will be into the ball game for Betsy Lane. Shot is on the way. It won't go. The free throw will not go that time. Again. Nobody can make them. Clark has missed three free throws. They all with the basketball. It's 27-21 as the score begins to tighten up a little bit. Give it over to Craig Hunter, around to Larry Hall. He wants to look inside, picked up by Stuart Robinson. He goes off of Larry's knee. He is double teamed. Now they say he's going to be pushed, so Larry Hall is going to go back to the line for the Bobcats. I don't understand who he got the foul on. I thought he signaled zero. 21. That's, that is Stuart. Stuart. Stuart Robinson. Larry Hall will be on the line. He's 0-2 to the charity stripe. Larry struggling from the free throw line. This one is up and in. Finally made one. <laughs> Coach Newsom clapping his hands down there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's the first one that Betsy Lane has missed. They had missed the first six in a row that they shot. 28-21, two and a half to go before the half. This one is up. It won't go. Scrap for it. And coming off there is the big boy, Kevin Adams, with it for Prestonsburg. Ray Collins on the drive. A little it pushing off there got by with him. Adams on the move. He is hammered underneath. So it's going to be interesting. Let's see who he's in. This one's on. 45. That's Sam that's Stewart. Stewart. That'll be his first. And going to the line will be Kevin Adams. So he is 0 for 2 so far for Prestonsburg from the line. Both teams hit a dry spell here. It's Lane is one of eight from the foul line. Prestonburg is one of eight. So, <laughs> one of eight. Boy. But Eddie Case can go out there and hit more than that. Shoot left-handed. <laughs> this one, it won't go. On the rebound. Laying it up, won't go. And we have a scrap on the floor for the basketball. And Betsy Lane comes out of there with his well, three home. white jerseys went up there after it. Chris Newsom steps out of bounds. So Prestonsburg along the basketball. Boy, Coach Junior Newsom is going to put somebody in. And Keith Hall is going to come in the lineup. And he's going to replace Larry Hall. 28-21 in favor of the Bobcats so far over Prestonsburg. Betsy Lane has virtually led throughout the ball game. Two minutes and six seconds remaining in the second quarter play. Good crowd on hand tonight. Bounce pass to Stuart Robinson. Ray Collins wants to work top of the key. Back to Stuart Robinson. Let's it go. Got it. Boy, Stuart Robinson has developed had two good shots there off the baseline. It is 28-23 as Prestonsburg has cut the lead back to five. A minute 45 to go. Craig Hunter looks off the baseline. Out wide open Chris Newsom. Quickly picked up by John Clark. Craig Hunter puts the move on, drives around, stop, puts it up, can't get it to go. Stewart tips it up, he can't oh, get it to go. Thought I had an undercut in that time on Stewart. Well, the move is John Clark tries to put the spin on Craig Hunter. Gives it up to Ray Collins. Russell's on the move. 
Oh, they just throw it away. I believe it might, Betsy Lane might have a hand on it. Out of bounds it will. It'll belong to Prestonsburg. A minute 16 before the half. Boy, Coach Jr. did some talking to the official down there. Yeah, they didn't like the on way the uh, Stewart was undercut on that last one down there. Well, I'll tell you what. It was certainly That's where a boy can get hurt bad when somebody goes up under him. I hope you certainly enjoy us carrying these ball games live for you in your living rooms on Telcom as the steal comes away by Chris Newsom. Takes it down, lays it up, can't get it to go. Boy, Chris Newsom missed a gimme after making a nice steal that time. Prestonsburg on the move as Collins comes through. He walks with the basketball. It was over to Betsy Lane. 53 seconds remaining before the half. Boy, this has been a wild and woolly basketball yeah, it has. game. Keith Hall with the basketball. We're down to 50 seconds before the half. Remember, coming up halftime, Johnny Ray Turner, the head coach of the McDowell Daredevils, will be joining me live on WPRG 5. So stay tuned for the interview with Johnny Ray. It goes out of bounds. It belongs to Prestonsburg, I believe. No, white ball. Betsy Lane's ball. You give it to Betsy Lane. All right, quickly off the bench with 41 seconds to go. She's going to go to Chuck Lafferty. He's going to try to get the sophomore into the ball game. He's, he's not going to get him in. He goes into Bernie Eplin around the horn. Down to 35 seconds. Now Betsy Lane's going to spread it About out. 34 seconds are going to go for one shot, I think, B.J. Give it out to Craig Hunter. He'll work the left-hand side. Throws it back outside to Chris Newsom. We're down to 22 seconds. And it's beginning to tick away. You see, Betsy Lane goes into the stall offense now. We're down to 12 seconds. Craig Hunter on the move. Stops. Swings it back outside. We're down to nine seconds. Chris Newsom calls the play. Bobcats now will go on the attack. Looks inside for Sam Stewart. On the turnaround, he can't get it to go. Presses well, he got the shot. This didn't go for go. And we played a half of basketball at the DW Hired Fieldhouse with a score of the Bobcats 28, the Blackcats 23. We'll be back in two minutes with a halftime wrap. A satellite signal comes from outer space. The satellite office across the country. And their call center? Hmm, we'd better not even go there. So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, call cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly, local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go Gearheart Broadband. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. When you add up all the Wi-Fi connected devices in your home these days, you'll be surprised how many there are and how much bandwidth they're using. Do the math. It just may add up to needing faster internet and Wi-Fi. Good thing Gearheart Broadband has reliable download speeds up to one gig and Plume Adaptive Home Wi-Fi to keep all your devices well connected. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or visit Gearheart Broadband online for a great offer. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Sitting in now is head coach of the McDowell Daredevils, Johnny Ray Turner. Johnny Ray, I know you have a young ball club. Only return, maybe Mark Hall, is that the only starter you returned from last year's ball club? 
Well, I've got uh, Keith Shelton and uh, Mark Hall and part-time starter uh, Mark's brother, Stacy. So we've got a pretty good nucleus to uh, work with. I know, Johnny, we're having a lot of cancellations. You tell me you were canceled. The nice ball game got canceled on you. Uh, how's that going to affect your scheduling from here on in? Are you going to be able to make up all those games? Well, we've had two, one with Betsy Lane and then one with uh, Dorton tonight that have been canceled. And uh, it'll be it'll be crowding my schedule up toward the end of the season. But, uh, you know, I, I think we can get them in. Uh, have you had a chance to go out and watch uh, Henry Webb and Al Sloy play this year? Uh, yeah, B.J., I have. I've seen Henry play a couple of times. saw him play in the uh, Transylvania tournament and uh, – saw him play in the uh, at Alice Lloyd that played a scrimmage game with uh, Lee's Junior College and I've see, also seen uh, I saw Rady play uh, I've yet to see Dickie Joe I'm okay, where's Rady again. playing at Johnny? he's at Lee's Junior College Lee's Junior College and Dickie Joe went on to Berea he's at Berea right? okay you haven't got a chance to see him play yet no it's uh, Berea's a little farther <laughs> but I want to I try to catch him when he comes up to uh, Alice Lloyd maybe uh, Johnny that's got to make a coach feel feel good anytime that you can put three kids into college basketball off of one team uh, you've got to really be happy about that oh yeah they were good they were super kids to work with and uh, yeah it really is it's, it's a good feeling well, partner, good luck throughout the season, and we're going to be doing some of your ball games, and uh, hopefully we're going to get old Mac down and do a couple, and especially when you come here. Okay, thank you, BJ. Thank you, brother. We're going to take a two-minute break, and I'll be back with a first half wrap-up in just a moment. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns. As we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. When you add up all the Wi-Fi connected devices in your home these days, you'll be surprised how many there are and how much bandwidth they're using. Do the math. It just may add up to needing faster internet and Wi-Fi. Good thing Gearheart Broadband has reliable download speeds up to one gig and Plume Adaptive Home Wi-Fi to keep all your devices well connected. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or visit Gearheart Broadband online for a great offer. Larry Cecil just won the lottery. With the first half scoring as follows, Sam Stewart at eight points for the Bobcats, had a big first half of basketball. Larry Hall chipped in with three points. Larry is one of four from the foul line, had a field goal. The big story, Philip King with 12 points, 10 of them coming in the first quarter, and Philip has been all over the floor. And what a first half of basketball that young man has played. Adam Gearhart has chipped in with a three-pointer and a field goal for a total of five points. Betsy Lane in the first half combines for a total of 28 points. On the other hand, for Gordon Paradol's Prestonsburg Black Cats, Chris Sloan, sort of a disappointing first half. By all means, he only has three points. You got to tribute that some good defense by the Bobcats. Ray Collins chipped in with two three-pointers. He has six points in the ball game. Stuart Robinson, two field goals for four points. Joe Burchett had one field goal for two points. Jeff Sloan had four points. Kevin Adams, four points for a total of 23. And that's how we stand at halftime. The Bobcats over the Black Cats, 28-23. We'll be back in two minutes, and we'll be ready to go with the second half of play, so don't go away. A satellite signal comes from outer space. The satellite office across the country. 
And their call center? Hmm, we'd better not even go there. So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, call cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly, local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go Gearheart Broadband. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. We're live at courtside at the DW Hard Field House with the Bobcats on a 28-23 lead over the Black Cats. BJ Newsom, Troy Cole, Don Bevins, courtside. And live in any living color coming into your living rooms. Troy Cole, you got a little halftime statistics for us? Hey, BJ, we had a fast action first half. We didn't have many turnovers from either team. Betts Lane had five, and Pressburg only had three turnovers. As for three-point shooting, uh, Betts Lane shot three, and they was one for three. Presseburg uh, shot three, and they was two for three. Uh, really, the turnovers and the uh, three-point shooting wasn't really a factor in it. Uh, get ready to start here the second half now. And so, uh, anyway, uh, we look uh, for this second half to be the same. I think the free-throw shooting will pick up a little bit, though. All right. Don Bevins will be doing a, an interview with the U.S. Senator at 9.30 in the morning on WPRG-TV5, and that'll be with Mitch McConnell. So tune in at 9.30 in the morning. Don Bevins will have an interview with a U.S. Senator, Mitch McConnell. So don't miss that on WPRG, serving our community and serving it the best we know how. Also, don't forget Marlowe's 13th annual Christmas party for the needy families taking place December 17th at 12 o'clock. For more information, give Marlowe a call, 432-4181. As we're getting ready to turn courtside, Adam Gerhardt to inbound for the Bobcats. Larry Hall breaks out on top, picks up the basketball. We're ready to go with a second action. Nice pass underneath. Puts it up and in as Adam Gerhardt. Nice pass from Larry Hall to Adam Gerhardt. Well, they worked that play to perfection that time. Seven points in the ball game for Adam Gerhardt. He leads the Bobcats scoring with a 19-point average. Three-pointer once again tipped it, and it good. is good. And if that is Ray Collins. That is three for three for Ray Collins. Ray Collins with nine points in the ball game. It is a 30-26 ball game. Last pass underneath Philip King, trying to find the handle, still in trouble. Adam Gearhart from 17 feet away won't go. Rebound, the big boy comes off there. It's Kevin Adams with a basketball. Quickly gives it up to Ray Collins, works the left-hand side. Stuart, Adda, Stuart Robinson, rather, and on the rebound, nice move that time. He could not get it to go was Jeff Sloan. Boy, both teams really pushing the ball up and down the court. We're down to seven minutes to go in the third quarter of play. Bobcats by four. Adam Gearhart with a basketball. Bounce pass to Larry Hall. Nice pass. Sam Stewart wide open underneath. Puts it home and he's fouled. That's a good assist there to Larry Hall. He put that ball in there just right for him. The foul is on number three, Chris Sloan. His first, the team's first of the second half. Don't forget, this Friday night, oh, we'll be probably more likely doing the B-Team, A-Team both game. That'll be the Mullins Tigers will be coming to town to take on these very same Betsy Lane Bobcats. 
Sam stood on the line. He has 10 points in the ball game. He's looking for his first free throw. It won't go. Well, it has and to it's the same old it. story. <coughs> Prestonsburg with a basketball. Coming down. Chance to cut, cut into the Bobcat lead as we're standing at 32. 26. Sloan with a basketball. Nice pass inside the big boy. Adams puts it up, banks it up, won't go. Scrap the rebound. Gearhart has it for Betsy Lane. Adam Gearhart decides to bring it down on himself. Quickly gives it up to Larry Hall. There's Sam Stewart underneath. Sam on a spin and move. Puts it up. Can't get it to go. Chris Sloan on the rebound. Picked up by Keith Hall. Chris Sloan right past Adam Gearhart. And I believe they're going to whistle Adam Gearhart for the foul out on the floor. Let's see. And it is on Adam Gearhart, his first. That is the first team foul against the Bobcats to start the second half. We're coming to you live from the DW Hyde Fieldhouse. This is no replay. These games are being brought to you live and in color. A pass comes way back outside to Chris Sloan. Three-pointer. Give it over to Ray Collins. This time he finally missed as he was three for three for three-point land. Larry Hall runs it down. Gives it up to Sam Stewart. Larry Hall, he'll let it go from three-point. Hits the front of the rim. Go Stewart has a rebound. Has it knocked out of bounds and off his leg. Junior Newsom off the bench. Looking over to tell Larry Hall, kind of settle down a little bit now. We still have the lead by six with about six minutes to go. Third quarter of play. Ray Collins moves the basketball. Gives it up quickly. Stuart Robinson lets it go. Round won't go. Sam Stewart, the big boy, grabs the rebound. Gives it up to Gearhart. Adam on the move. Still wants to work right-hand side, looking for help. Tries to bounce pass in there. Made a little bit of a bad pass that time. Philip King couldn't come up with it. Prestonsburg looking for a little bit of help. Down underneath is it is stolen away. Picked by Philip King on an outrun to Adam Gearhart. The left-hand layup is up and missed the layup. Adam missed the gimme that time. <coughs> Chris Sloan back the other way. Ray Collins for three. Got it. Boy, I've got him for four or three pointers, Troy Cole. Yeah. And then three suddenly it is a, starting to make a difference now. 32, 29. I got him for four three-point plays. That is 12 points for Ray Collins, all of them from three-point land. Philip King looking for help. Bobcats on a three-point lead at the five-minute mark of the third quarter. Boy, Coach Junior Newsom really uh, shouting instructions. Philip King drops nothing but the bottom of the net to pick up his 14th point on the evening. 34-29, Betsy Lane back by five. 450 to go, third quarter play. Sloan, he's over to Robinson. Nice pass to Adams. Banks it up and in. Boy, this Adams a big, strong kid. Yeah. 34-31. We're approaching the four-and-a-half-minute mark of the third quarter of play as Keith Hall wants to work with the basketball now. Gives up to Larry Hall. Looks inside. Nothing happened. Adam Gearhart goes up against Chris Sloan. Keith Hall back outside Larry Hall. Gearhart, now pass inside. Philip King on the turnaround. Write it down. Boy, Philip King has got a beautiful touch around the basket. He's got his 16th point. Of the ball game, 36-31, 4.15 to go. And we have a whistle, and Gordon Pradaw has seen enough. He says, let's take a timeout, fellas, to talk about it. As he gets all over Jeff Sloan as he walks off the floor. Let's take a 30-second break, and we'll be right back at the DW Hard Field House. A satellite signal comes from outer space. The satellite office across the country. And their call center? Hmm, we'd better not even go there. So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, call Cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly, local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go Gearheart Broadband. Just a little bit of the end of the cheer there of the Bobcat cheerleaders performing here at the D.W. Hyatt Fieldhouse. B.J. Newsom, Troy Cohen, Don Bevins uh, courtside. Along we have joining us four other radio stations and uh, it's kind of crowded on press row, but it's good to see all the coverage out yeah. for tonight's ball game. There's not too many ball games going on in, in, uh, in our area tonight <laughs> at all, B.J. I think there's only one other ball game and that was Pikeville and Virgie tonight. I, I can't find out any scores on that right now. Prestonsburg owns the basketball. Just about at midcourt. 4.13 to go, third quarter place. It's going to go into Ray Collins. Boy, Keith Hall comes out to pick him up as he crosses the timeline. Stuart uh, Robinson picked up Adam Gearhart. Larry Hall has Chris Sloan. 
Give it to Stuart Robinson. They got a wall car and they got by with it. This one is up, won't go. Ball up, won't go. Tip up, won't go. Let's say we have a foul. <clears throat> Philip King was fouled that time. I believe the foul might go against Joe Burch at number 33. That's 33. who it's on. That's his second. Prestonsburg has committed their second team foul. Betsy Lane has committed one team foul so far in the second half of play. 3.54 to go as Keith Hall is going to walk it down, take his time. And Ray well, Collins kicked the, kicked the ball all the way up. <laughs> all the way up. And I believe P.D. Gerhardt uh, tried to get away with the souvenir and they made him throw the ball back. <laughs> Pass off the baseline. Phil, oh, nice move by Philip King. Drive oh, it home. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, Philip King, 18 points in the ball game. Oh, he'd have seen it open. Troy Cole and pounded it to the goal. Robinson, boy, picked up, tipped it away. Boy, is that Philip King on the floor again after the basketball? Is Adam Gerhardt down? Can't shoot. Backs it off to Sam Stewart. Philip King was on the floor, Troy. Yeah, Come up with a steal. Yeah, that kid can play. He don't ever play right now. He has put on the shoulder tonight. Sam Stewart underneath lays it up and in. Boy, the big guy. Well, he hammered him that time, too. But has he, 12 points. Anyway, he got it in. He's, he made the power move that time. Well, the two big guys have 30 to 40 points so far for Betsy Lane. Sam Stewart and Philip uh, King. Betsy Lane's got Stolen the away by Philip King again. Good job. Boy, hat's got to go off to Philip King. What a basketball game he's had tonight. Is that a you know, let's the ball go between his hands, picks it up. Larry Hall gives it over to Keith Hall. He looks inside for help. Give it outside to Adam Gearhart. Spins. Larry Hall still looking. Boy, Coach Junior Newsom said, move it. Larry Hall off the baseline, puts it home. So Larry Hall now suddenly with five points in the ball game. Betsy Lane opens back up by nine, 42-31. Prestonsburg's going to have to get something going. And they can't do it. Sam Stewart comes off there with the rebound. Prestonburg has gone cold now in the third quarter. Betsy Lane really began to open up by 11, 42-31. Gerhardt with the basketball, looks inside. They say he traveled the basketball. Of course, Junior Newsom sort of disagree with that. He thought Adam might have been bumped a little bit. So he claps, looks at the official and claps. Coming in the ball game for Prestonsburg will be Timmy Martin. He'll return to the lineup for Prestonsburg. Came in and had a good second quarter for the Black Cats. Two minutes, 15 seconds to go, third quarter of play. We're live at the DW Hired Field House. Remember, Friday night we'll be right back here with the same Bobcats, but they'll be taking on the Mullins Tigers. Boy, Prestonburg has really gone cold. And going over the back, they're going to have to whistle Joe Burchett with a foul. His third, the team's third. Paul May has the foul, so the Bobcats to inbound. Keith Hall says, hey, let me bring it down. Bernie Eplin quickly off the bench for the Bobcats going to come into the lineup. Adam Gearhart with a quick short jump shot, got it. Now Adam Gearhart with nine points in the ball game. Stuart Robinson, he answers for Prestonsburg. Robinson now with six points. Suddenly it is a 44-33 ball game. About a minute and a half to go in the third quarter play. We want to alert our stations. We'll be going to a one-minute break at the end of this quarter. Philip King puts it up and in. Boy, Philip King has 20 oh, points in the ball game. On the move is Ray Collins. Collins. Gets the ball up. Oh, nice move by Chris Sloan. Oh, he just took it to the hole, put it Sloan. in. But only five points in the ball game for Chris Sloan, way below his season average so far. We're down a minute five to go. Stand by at the station. We'll be taking a one-minute break in about a minute as soon as the third quarter ends. Adam Gearhart gives it over to Larry Hall. There's a nice lob to Sam Stewart. Oh, they might have three seconds on Philip King. Got him back out of there. As Larry Hall makes the moves, has it stripped from him, picks it back up, gives it to Sam Stewart, banks it up and in. Well, Sam Stewart now with 14 points in the ball game and probably one of Sam's better outputs so far this season. We have a foul. Keith Hall is going to be whistled for the foul. And for Keith Hall, it is his first, the team's second. We're going to have Chris Newsom and Bernie Epling going in for the Bobcats and for Prestonsburg, John Clark, along with uh, number 22. And when you know it, Troy, I don't have a 22 on the list. McGuire, I guess it is, for Prestonsburg. Uh, instead of number five, he's going to be wearing number 22. 
So McGuire and Clark goes in for Prestonsburg as they own the basketball. Betsy Lane ahead by 13. Betsy Lane threatening to blow this thing open now. If it, McGuire tries to shoot, he can't get it to go. Martin has it, throws it up, and he is hammered. Let's see what's gonna be the foul. And I believe that uh, Larry Hall, Chad Mitchell's gonna come back in the ball again as Larry Hall has picked up a foul, his second. That will be the team's third. And I'm sure Larry Hall is going to come out of the ball game. Chad Mitchell returns the lineup. Larry Hall comes out. 31 seconds to go. Junior Newsom clapping for Larry Hall for the hustle that he just put out there. 48-35. The free throw is on the way. It is up and good this time. And scoring that one will be Tim Martin. Martin will have one other try. 48-36. This one is on the way. Too hard. Won't go. Oh, sandwiched that time. And I said the ball, I believe, belongs to Prestonsburg. <laughs> Martin inbound for the Black Cats. Looking. Try to get it in. He does. He comes in to McGuire. Gets it back outside. That's the lane's really playing a tough belly up defense. Oh, Martin on a nice drive. He can't get the roll. Martin again turns, puts it up. He can't get the roll. Bernie Eplin has the rebound. We're down to five seconds. Philip King lays it up. No. He will can't get it to go, but he is fouled. The foul is going to be on number 15. That's going to be Tim Martin. has picked up his third and the team's fourth. So from here on in the fourth quarter, the Bobcats will be in the bonus. As Philip King will go to the line, he has not shot a free throw this evening. He has 20 points in the ball game. He'll shoot a pair this time. There's about three seconds, I think, to go in the third quarter. So stay by, stand by, girls, at the station. This one is up and in as Philip King has 21 on the night. Bobcats lead 49-36. They build in a 13-point lead. They're threatening to blow this game open. The next one is on the way. It is good. So Betsy Lane by 14. The three-point attempt is on the way. It's the front of the rim. Won't go. We played three quarters of basketball at the DW High Fieldhouse with the Bobcats 50. The Bobcats 36 back in one minute. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. Get ready. We're going to be bringing the fourth and final quarter of play. We've sat through seven quarters so far tonight. The girls won the opening ball game. The Lady Bobcats over the Lady Black Cats by a score of 50-34. As Jamie Smith led the score in the 17 points in that ball game for the Lady Bobcats. Enough for Prestonburg to make a run on Betsy Lane here early in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they do. Prestonburg owns the basketballs. They're going to go into the big guy, Adams. He has to give it up quickly to John Clark. Clark wants to work the left-hand side, picked up by Bernie Eplin. The three-pointer won't go by Sloan. Betsy Lane goes after the basketball. It comes up by Stuart Robinson. Clark Collins couldn't get it to go, and Chad Mitchell comes away with the rebound for the Bobcats. Chad Mitchell drives all the way in there. They gave him the opening. Gearhart tries to lob inside, can't get it to go. And it's stolen away. Here we go. Sloan lays it up. Can't get it to go. Boy, he's had a tough evening. Bernie Eplin has the rebound. Quickly gives it up to Chris Newsom. Junior Newsom said, come on, gang. What are we waiting on? <clears throat> Give it up back outside to Chris Newsom. He lets it go for three. Can't get it to go. Up a little bit of push off. No call that time. And on the move. Collins, he walks with it. Doesn't get anything called, but he is hammered by Chris Newsom, I believe. 
Barry I Hall will come in the line. Frustration uh, uh, on Chris's part there. That foul was. Let's see if he's taking him out. Yeah. Okay. Each team has now committed four team fouls. And going to the line will be Ray Collins for Prestonsburg. He has four three pointers for a total of 12 points. The Hism won't go, boy. I tell you, both teams, neither one of them could have any bragging rights at all when it comes to shooting free throws. Well, they'll have one more try as Ray Collins. Collins' shot is on the way. It's in and out. Won't go. And scrapping after the ball is Philip King. They're going to say jump ball. It has to belong to Betsy Lane on possession. Betsy Lane like, uh, is just not blocking Junior out. Junior Newsom really uh, not liking that. And, and uh, of course, Prestonburg is big and strong. It's hard to block, block them out a lot of times. Betsy Lane owns a 14-point lead. Prestonburg unable to make a run so far at them. 50-36, Larry Hall with the basketball for Betsy Lane. We have played exactly one minute of the fourth quarter. Bobcats looking for their first conference win. Prestonsburg looking to up their conference to 2-0 as Larry Hall drives all the way. He's in trouble. Tries a behind-the-back pass, throws it right in the hands of Ray Carr. Bad pass by Larry Hall. Not even looking, trying to behind-the-back pass. Throws it outside. And Robinson for three, got it. Boy, Stoke Robinson for a three. That got the Prestonsburg people fired up a little bit. As he cut the lead from 14 to 11, as Sam Stewart's going to come back in for the Bobcats. Adam Gerhardt with a basketball. Gives it across court to Chad Mitchell to Larry Hall. Underneath, Philip King puts it up. His side of the backboard will go. Adams has the rebound. Well, I'll tell you what. Adams on the rebound. Quickly gets it ahead. John Clark puts it up, banks it up. Can't get it to go. Adams has the rebound, banks it up and in. So Prestonsburg now making the run that Troy yeah. was talking about. Yeah. That is a 50-41 ball game. They're going to have to get Stewart back in there. Betts Lane is. All right, all this goes the ball away. Boy, Coach Junior Newsom wants a timeout. He is really upset with 6.05 to go. And the Prestonsburg fans began to get in the ball game as Betsy Lane is on top, 50-41. to 41. Let's take a 30-second break, and we'll be right back. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. As you're looking down on the court side, you see Coach Junior Newsom huddled down on one knee talking to the Bobcat Ball Club. He doesn't like what he sees right now. As we have 6.05 to go in the fourth quarter of play, and Betsy Lane on top, 50 to 41. Troy Cole, they've led as much as 16. The lead is suddenly down to nine. Nine points is that run I was talking about, B.J. Now, if, if uh, uh, the thing about you have to worry about the Betsy Lane team is they're young and they're inexperienced, so they throw the ball away a whole lot. Prestonsburg with the basketball. It's tipped out of bounds by Keith Hall. Betsy Lane now goes with Chad Mitchell. And Larry Hall comes out of the line. He goes with Chad Mitchell, uh, Keith Hall, Adam Gearhart, Philip King, and Sam Stewart. And the shot won't go as on the rebound is Philip King. <clears throat> that time, Ray Collins couldn't get the shot to go. He had a nice little jump shot there, and he just missed it. Pulled up a little short. We're under six minutes to play. Chad Mitchell, oh, nice pass inside Sam Stewart. Has it knocked out of his hands? And now they say we have a fall. Let's see what we got. Sam Stewart's going to go the line. Paul May says we have a foul. And I believe foul yeah. is it, or either on Jeff Sloan or Stuart Robinson. Let's see who it's going to be on. And I've got 21, and I'd say that's going to be Stuart Robinson. So that's going to put Sam well, any time, Stewart any time on the line. Anytime there's a foul call, B.J., foul, uh, one referee <laughs> calls it one, one calls it the other. Foul overrules whatever the call is. Five minutes, 41 seconds to go. Fourth quarter play as Sam Stewart will step to the line. Sam's shot is on the way. It's good. So Big Stewart has 15 points in the ball game. One of Sam's better outputs on the young season as Petchy Lane builds the lead back to 10. That was a good time out that time by Junior. This one to settle his ball club down a little bit. This one is on the way. It's good as Sam Stewart now picks up 16 points on the evening. Back up to that 11-point lead. 
Prestonsburg on the move with the basketball. Uh, Robinson. Boy, oh, Stuart Robinson with two three-pointers in a row. And suddenly it is a 52-48 ball game. Robinson on the night now with 12 points in the ball game. Chad Mitchell with the basketball for the Bobcats. Gives it out to Adam Gerhardt looking for help. Spinning. Picked up by Chris Sloan. Got to have some help. Close to the five-second call. Oh, and, and Prestonsburg steals it away. That time was Keith Hall trying to bounce pass into Sam Stewart. Didn't go. Oh, no, we have a turnover. Turn Ray Collins carries yeah, the basketball, no doubt about it. Call it out. Well, there's no doubt about that when he turned it over. Good shot of Chad Mitchell there as he gets ready to inbound for the Bobcats. Coach Newsom down there pleading his case on Stewart getting knocked to the floor on that last one, but it's of no avail. Oh, pass inside from Chad. Mitchell to well, Sam maybe Stewart. it was. And maybe now, it was. I think we're going to have a foul this time called <laughs> against Kevin Adams, his third. Coach Newsom had just got on to it for that same uh, call right there, BJ, and uh, so I guess it did pay off in the long run. <laughs> Sam Stewart will go to the line now for the Bobcats as Larry Hall gets ready to check back in for the Bobcats. And he'll replace Chad Mitchell. Chad Mitchell did a good job while he was in there. Chad's no playing turnovers. good defense. Good defensive game for Chad Mitchell. We're down to 4.58 to go. Sam Stewart. Takes a lot of time. This one is on the way. It's good. There's no doubt about that one. Sam Stewart. Well, we're Stewart. going down that stretch I was talking about. Prestonburg made that run, and Junior's got his five starters back in there in the last five minutes of the ball game now, B.J. Stewart going for his 18th point on the evening. It's short. I can see that one. Adams comes up with a rebound. And here come the Black Cats. They're going to have to get something going in a hurry. It's John Clark with a basketball. Stuart Robinson. Way to go, Keith Hall. Keith Hall. Hall drives it all the way down. Oh, got it. Oh, got it. Oh, Keith Hall got his first field goal, and it came at a good time for Junior Newsom's Bobcat Ball Club. And let's see. 2-2. Two, two. They say, I don't have it. That on McGuire. So that's going to put Keith Hall on the line. That's first Keith's first points of the ball game. And Betsy Lane suddenly quickly runs back out to 11-point lead. 4.45 to go in the ball game. You can see it on your screen. Bob gets on top. This could be their first conference win. They can move their record to 2-1. And, and Prestonsburg can also have an identical record at 2-1 and one if the score stays the same. A lot of time left. Keith Hall's free throw won't go. It's the top of the rim. Stuart Robinson has the rebound. Keith Hall has missed all three three throws tonight, and he's taken. Prestonburg is on the move, and now Keith Hall has came down and committed a foul his second. So from here on in, both teams will be in the bonus. So going the line now for Prestonburg, I believe that will be Ray Collins. Ray is 0 for 2 from the foul line so far, and Prestonburg, if they're going to get back into this ball game, they're going to have to make these free throws. So Ray Collins steps to the line. He owns 12 points in the ball game. This one is right there. Give him 13 on the evening. He'll have one more. 55-45. Troy really a nine-point lead with four and a half minutes to go a much. lot of times. No. Here we go. And that one is right there. Give Ray Collins a total of 14 points on the evening. And it is a 55-46 ball game. Let's see if Betsy Lane begins to milk the clock a little bit. Keith Hall with the basketball, works against Ray Collins. Quickly gives it up to Adam Gearhart, guarded by Chris Sloan. They're looking inside. Boy, person has got it packed in this time. They're not going to give him that easy pass inside. Ooh, Gearhart almost walked with the basketball. Gives it up to Sam Stewart. Stewart picked up by Adams, way out high. Gives it up to Gearhart, wide open, drives in the lane, puts it up and in. Good move that time by Adam Gearhart, as he has 11 points in the ball game now. Martin. They get it inside to Adams on the turnaround. Can't get it to go. Sam Stewart has the rebound. Betsy Lane back on top by 11. We're under four minutes to go. Now let's see what Betsy Lane's intentions are. Gearhart spins. Gives it up to Keith Hall. Sam Stewart wants to watch the break. I think Betsy Lane's going to start milking the clock down a little bit now. So they begin to be weaving Bob in and out. They get the ball over to... They're looking inside. Can't get anything going. Sam Stewart puts it up. Got the roll. So Sam Stewart. Sam Stewart with 21 points in the ball game now for Betsy Lane. Stewart Robinson. I think Prestonburg's got to fire the three-pointers. In and out won't go that time by Chris Sloan. 
Keith Hall has the rebound. Betsy Lane on top by 13 with a little over three to go. And you can just about turn out the light on this one. Larry Hall with a basketball. Betsy Lane's going to go into that weave again. They're going to stall the ball until they get a good shot. Give it over to Larry Hall. They're going to take a lot of time. Eddie Taylor, Floyd County Times down on the floor taking pictures. Philip King with a basketball. Boy, they tell him to move it all. Boy, Larry Hall hit. Hey, Keith Hall wide open with a pass, hit him inside the head. Keith wasn't looking. Boy, oh. Junior Newsom is beside himself down there on the floor. Ray Collins with a basketball for Prestonsburg, picked up by Keith Hall. He's got to hurry up and give it to Chris Sloan, picked up by Larry Hall. Chris Sloan goes up with it. He can't buy a basket right now. Martin is fouled on the play. No, I say he traveled with a basketball. So Paul May says he travels with a basketball. It is 59-46, 2.39 to go. Larry Hall will inbounds for the Bobcats. Good picture of Larry Hall. We're coming to you live from the DW Hyatt Fieldhouse. You've seen all the exciting action live on five. This is no replays. Oh, we have a foul that time. Chris Sloan has just fouled Keith Hall. So Keith Hall will go to the line. He is over the oh for three from the charity stripe. And I'm sure Junior Newsom is really going to talk about this tomorrow in practice of free throw shooting. I'm not watching for the pass late in the ball game. Betsy Lane has a team. Let's count these up. They shot two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They shot 16, and I see her making six of 16 so far. Not a very good percentage. Keith Hall shot, rolls around, falls through this time. He'll have one more. So it is a 60-46, just about two and a half minutes to play in the ball game. This one is on the way. It's good by Keith Hall. He has four points in the ball game. Ray Collins going to bring it down. Wants to work the right hand side. Still works a little push off. Nothing on it. Give it over to Chris Sloan. Pressenberg's going to have to put it up. Stuart Robinson. He'll bang it from three. Can't get it to go. Adams got the rebound over to Sloan. Short. And Philip King has the rebound. Uh, you better bet Betsy Lamb probably kind of hold things up as they lead by 15. 61 46. We're in the fourth quarter play. Down to 208 to go. Adam Gear up with a basketball. They want him to give it up. They're going to bob weave in and out. They're going to stall. They give it up to Larry Hall. He's picked up by Tim Martin. Larry right, penetrates, backs out, spins, comes back around, end of the lane, gives it up to Adam Gearhart. Give it back over now to Philip King, who's had a big ball game for the Bobcats. The two big boys have really played well. Adam Gearhart is knocked to the floor on the shot by Chris Sloan. Chris Sloan has picked up his third foul, and that will put Adam Gearhart on the line. So far, Adam in the ball game has 11 points. This will be his first opportunity from the charity stripe as Gordon Paradol says, hey, I've seen enough. Let's get everybody into the action. And now coming in for Gordon Paradol is McGuire, Burke, Witt, Rossett, and Hammonds. They're all going to come in. Complete new lineup in there. So let's going to be, let's see if, uh, if Junior's going to counter a little bit with some more of his subs. Right now, Adam Gerard's going to be on the line. He has his still has his starting five. It's 61 46 with a minute 42. Adam's free throw is up and in. 12 points in the ball game now for Adam Gearhart. As Betsy Lane now has put three men in double figures for this evening. And the fans began to get up and get their jackets. As you can see, them. they're going to be they're leaving now. They sense this one as being over. It's and on the rebound is Philip King. He puts it up, can't get it to go. A scrap for the rebound. And out of there comes the Black Cats of Prestonsburg with a minute and a half to go. Bernie Epling is going to come in the ball game. Uh, this time we have a the basket went in. Let's see if they're going to count it. Yep. Fouls on Larry Hall. No, a bonus. It went in. He caught it out on the floor, BJ. They're going to give him the bonus this time so McGuire will be on the free throw line he got the first one he'll have one more and it is 62 47 this McGuire will have one more chance Betsy Lane will win their first conference game of the year go to two and one the rebound comes off to Larry Hall falls down with the ball has to hurry up and get it up to Keith Hall long pass to Adam Gearhart on the move 
bounce pass. Philip King can't get it to go, but he's fouled on the play. Craig Hunter wants to come back in the ball game now for Betsy Lane. He's up, ready to come in as Philip King will go the line for the Bobcats. Okay, Chris Newsom is going to go back in, and while they're doing that, I want to take this time and start adding up some points so we can see what all... Uh, well, is that a Sam stood out of the ball game, Troy? Yeah, Sam. Bernie Eplin's in for, for Sam. Uh, Phil King, it's line. He's up shooting two shots. I had Sam Stewart, 19 uh, big points on the evening. good. 62-47. We've got 121 left here in the fourth and final period. Butch Lane and Prestonburg. Butch Lane leading. Philip King will have his second try. It's yeah, good. good. Betsy Lane on top, 63-47. 16-point lead with a minute 15 to go. McGuire gives the ball up. Now Robinson can't get anything to go. Philip King has another rebound. King brings the ball out himself, runs it all the way down. Gets it back outside to Craig Hunter as the Bobcats begin to hold things up a little bit with even one minute to go in the fourth quarter play. Chris Newsom with the ball high above his head. Looking underneath now for Philip King. Bernie Eplin battling his way underneath, calls for the basketball. They can't get it to him. We're down to about 41 seconds, 38. Betsy Lane wants to get time out to get Chad Mitchell and Brad, uh, Brad Tacken into the ball game. Let's take a 30 second break and we'll be back with the final 38 seconds of the DW Hard Field House. A satellite signal comes from outer space. The satellite office across the country and their call center? Hmm, we'd better not even go there. So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, call cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go Gearheart Broadband. Well, the final 38 seconds of play at the DW Hard Fieldhouse, you see the Prestonsburg cheerleaders leaving the court. A lot of the fans now, Troy Cole, getting up, putting their jackets on as they feel this one is over. Well, it is over. 38 seconds with a 16-point lead. Uh, <laughs> take an absolute miracle. <laughs> no way. We got Betsy all the lineup in there for Chuck Betsy Lane. Lane now for Betsy Lane. Brad uh, tagging in for Betsy Lane. Chad Mitchell with a basketball. Bernie Epling in now. They give it to Craig Hunter. Craig Hunter brings it around, spins, gives it over to Bernie Eplin, looking inside, wants to put the move down. Laverty for out top of the key. Looks for Craig Hunter, still looking. He's got to get the ball up. And now we have a foul. It's going to be on McGuire. The foul will be on McGuire. That'll be his second. We're down to 22 seconds to go in the ball game, and Jack Jarrell will go in for the Bobcats. He replaced Bernie Eplin. Chuck Lafferty now will go the line for the Bobcats. Chuck will be on the line for the bonus. We're down to the final 22 seconds to play in the ball game. And Chuck Lafferty is on the scoreboard. Betsy Lane will move their record out to a 2-1 this young season. Prestonsburg will be at 2-1. Each one of them, Prestonsburg will be 1-1 one one in the conference. Betsy Lane will move out to 1-0 oh in the conference. Uh, he missed the second. Lafferty misses the second free throw. It's knocked away behind by Craig Hunter. Chad Mitchell with a basketball. We're down to 12 seconds. Give it up. Lafferty puts the move. Bars it up. Got it. Two-pointer by Lafferty. He has three points in the ball game. Off the bench quickly. Uh, we're down to the final second, and that's the horn, and the game is over. Uh, let's go to the scoreboard. The Bobcats. Our victorious over the Blackcats by a score of 66-47. We'll be back in one minute. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. 
With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. Coming into the ball game. The Bobcats will end scoring by Philip King and Troy Cole has all the individual scoring. Great ball game for the Bobcats here tonight. It's always uh, good to watch these conference games and our teams here in the county because they all usually go right down to the water, but Betch Lane kindly pulled this one out with a, with a big win over, I didn't really think it would be that bigger margin, but I did think they would win here tonight, BJ. For the losers of Prestonburg Black Cats, Chris Sloan had five points, Ray Collins had 14, he led them in scoring. Stuart Robinson had 12, and uh, Burchett had two. Sloan had four, and uh, Adams had eight. Martin won. McGuire won for a total of 47. They shot a lot of three-point shots there in that last time. They was they was four for four for ten in free in uh, three-point shots. Uh, and for the victorious Betchelaine Bobcats. They were led in scoring by Philip King with 23 points. Sam Stewart had 19. Larry Hall had five. Adam Gerhardt had 12. Keith Hall had uh, four. And Chuck Lefty come in with three points at last. And uh, that was for a total of 66. And so it was a great ball game here between uh, Best Lane and Prestonburg. Uh, I think we've got another ball game coming up here Friday night with Mullins. It's not a conference game, but... Uh, you can't overlook Mullins because they've already defeated uh, Elkhorn City, and Elkhorn City was one of the top teams in our region. So there's no easy games left, B.J. All right. As you said, Troy Cole, Philip King, and Sam Stewart led the way with the Bobcats with a combined of 42 points for the big guys. And when they play a ball game like they play tonight, Betsy Lane is going to win a lot of ball games. They lost a heartbreaker down at... Uh, down our number one team this week McGoffin. in McGoffin County and, and Danny Adams' ball club, but they beat a good uh, Feds Creek team to open up the season. They beat a good Prestonsburg team here tonight. This is, you not heard the end of Prestonsburg because Gordon Peridot will have those Black Cats ready to go by the end of the season. It was a big win for the Bobcats. It brings the record to 2-1. It drops Prestonsburg record to 2-1 also. Well, that's going to about do it from the D.W. Hired Field House. We're certainly glad you could join us live on Channel 5 tonight. In the opening game, the Lady Bobcats, a big win, 50-34 over the Lady Bad Cats. Join us this Friday night live once again from the D.W. Hired Field House when we'll have exciting high school basketball. I'll be here along with Tommy Hall with a play-by-play. -play. For B.J. Newsom, Troy Cole, Don Bevins, and the girls back at the station, Nancy and Kathy, our thanks to Eddie Case for all his fine help down here at the gym. We bid you a good evening, everyone.